A quilting group hardly seems like the setting for a multi-million dollar scam, but that's where Catherine O'Keefe was targeted. Our relationship um, grew into, uh, from women who were involved in this quilting group to extremely close friends. Um, neither of us had sisters, and we very much regarded each other as, as sisters. O'Keefe is talking about Robin Brass, whom she met in the quilting group. Over several years, the two women became so close, their families vacation together. When the economy collapsed in 2008, O'Keefe and her husband decided to invest with Brass and her company called BBR Group. In our mind, she was extraordinarily successful. Um, she and her husband had a, a house that they had um, had built and added on to and renovated into being an absolute showcase. They had, uh, they, they took expensive vacations, um, they had artwork. Brass claimed to have a can't lose investment formula and O'Keefe trusted her, no questions asked. Well, on paper we certainly made money. We received continual statements and she would come to our house and sit down at our dining room table and go over the statements with us. About a year and a half later, everything changed. There had been checks that, that bounced. Um, we accepted uh, what seemed like plausible reasons for that, which in retrospect should have been enormous flags to us. Postal inspectors say BBR was a front for an elaborate Ponzi scheme that stole more than $2 million from victims. When you think about what this particular suspect had to do to gain the trust of all these professional, you know, good people. Um, greed is, is what comes to mind. Um, and unfortunately, it, uh, it's a powerful motivator. Brass's Ponzi scheme, like most, only lasted as long as she continued to lure in new investors to pay old investors. Unfortunately, Catherine O'Keefe and her friends in the quilting group were on the losing end of the pyramid. I was devastated. My entire family was devastated. Um, this was a person that we loved dearly, and it was inconceivable to us that she had stolen from us and betrayed us.